hi everyone this is joanna welcome to my channel thank you guys so much for taking time out of your busy days to hang out with me i so appreciate it i hope that you will enjoy this video i am going to use makumegin technique today to create these pendants and that technique is, is so fun i actually have a playlist with that technique because i've used it many times before and it's one of those techniques that is just so simple and you really don't know what you're gonna get until you're there <laughs> if you know what i mean let me show you how i made these pendants so here are the players at our party today i'm going to use cernit translucent sapphire i'm also going to use the violet which i used very little of in the past and my favorite bordeaux oh i love that color now these colors look very different right now and they will change where we're gonna bake it i also am using a translucent piece of clay and on the side i have some white and black clay and silver leaf now I'm, I'm going to start off by placing some of the silver leaf on some of the layers of the clay so I'm going to start with the sapphire and once the silver leaf is on us Bordeaux is going to go on I'm going to give it a nice, nice squish a little bit more silver leaf on Bordeaux and then I'm just going to place some violet and the translucent on top and now it is all about creating our wonderful makumegain sandwich so i'm just going to roll things out slice place them one on top of the other and so on and so forth and it's entirely up to you how many layers you want to create you can see how many i created here and uh, there you have it my nice sandwich now i'm going to use my circular cutters today but people use so many cutters so basically i'm just going to cut it all the way through but you want to keep the whole block together so cut it all the way to the bottom but squeeze the block so that all the parts are sticking as one piece and this is really an amazing amazing technique uh, when it comes to imagination you can use so many different things here you can make swirls you can make holes you can make gosh lines i've created many lines and i've seen people make a lot of lines as well um really really it's just free for all you're just gonna you can i've even pe seen people use like flower cutters but you can see that i'm just going crazy here with the you know with the cutters and i'm making some little holes on top of that it's just fun <laughs> okay so now we are going to start slicing so the first few slices i'm going to place on my black and white clay later on in the video you're going to see that i'm going to try something else but look at that slice i mean those slices are coming out so beautifully especially when you take your sharp blade and you don't go you don't slice evenly you kind of go and dig in so you get a bunch of different colors with one slice it really is so fun but you have to kind of play with it and um, you know I created the black one and I decided that you know what there's just way too much of it uh, of the makumagain on it I think I just want to add a little bit of makumagain onto the white background and black background and create kind of like a design with my cut and you'll see that I started doing it more and more as I was creating more pendants but there you have it this is my first cut and this is on white clay now like I said I wasn't sure how this translucent clay was going to look on black so this was really my trial run because I, I really I've never used translucent clay on exactly on black background so I was very interested to see how this was going to turn out so this is my second uh, second round and here I'm deciding okay I think that less of that um, Mokumegin on the clay is better I, I really am digging this <laughs> this really nice designs that I can that I'm coming up with it's almost like a you know, I have like a map of countries uh, that are coming up on my clay, if you know what I mean. If you guys are playing Wordle, Wordle, like you have to guess the, the, um, the countries, 
Um, check it out it's it's so fun i think i'm sure that that's why i'm thinking of that because every day i'm guessing the shapes of the countries and <laughs> maybe that's why i'm even creating this pendant uh okay so my country shaped pendants <laughs> are ready to go in the oven 270 degrees for half an hour and we'll see how they're going to turn out Okay, so my pendants are out and here you have it. They are the one they are on white. So there you have them on white and here are the ones on black. Now I felt that the ones on black really are getting lost in the background. And the white ones were not shimmery enough for me. So guess what? I rolled out some pearl, Sculpey pearl clay, and I decided that I'm going to use that for the background to my pendants. So I'm totally loving the different shapes that I'm getting with my cuts. Um, and I'm going, I'm, I'm, I'm just determined to create one pendant at a time. I think that that is just going to work better for me because of the design that I'm after. So there you have it, uh, my pearl and my Macomagain layers. And that's how I created the rest of my pendants. There was no black background, just the pearl background. Now, as I was creating this video, I decided that I was going to read up on Macomagain. And did you guys know that it was actually a Japanese metal technique of layering different metals and then creating kind of like manipulating them into looking like the wood? Um, I kind of see that because you know when when I when you do slice it, you kind of can get that grain looking um, slices. You know, if I had them in different color, I think that they would be a little bit more uh, obvious. But uh, yeah, that was very interesting. I never really read up on the technique that I've been using for so many years. Well, shame on me. <laughs> So there you have it. I'm creating more and more of those. It was so addicting because you wanted to create so many different shapes and variations. And these guys are going to go in the oven again, 270 degrees for half an hour. You can see that they look slightly different than my white and black ones. These are going to be much more shimmery and I love the shimmer. So <laughs> <laughs> and there you have it the one on the left was on the white and uh, the one on the right is with um, pearl and there you have it I had some run of resin there <laughs> I'm gonna have to fix it but overall look how awesome they look I I really love the translucent look to it and the shimmer the silver leaf is just peeking through I mean look at the close-up of it it's just there's just so much going on so I know it's kind of unfair because the pearl has already resin on it but there you have the the white one definitely a different feel to it I'm going to leave that one for another thing that I want to show uh, that I want to do video on but the pearl you know in pearl you always have movement of the mica so you have that slight almost their movement of mica in the back and then you have the makumagain uh, slices with the silver just peeking through and all the layers are translucent i really really totally love it it's like a, a fourth of july almost almost fourth of july pendant uh, the colors really would be perfect for fourth of july well anyways my friends i hope you enjoyed this video if you did make sure you subscribe give me a big thumbs up let me know that you enjoyed this video and i will promise i'll make more of those for you guys with that being said till next time ta-ta <laughs>